think uh, when discussing Kusi, one needs to understand why the name Kusi. Mm-hmm. Kusi derives from uh, the Swahili word Kusini. Mm-hmm. So it's a short, short form of kus, Kusini, which means south mm-hmm. or southerly. And the reason we picked um, that name is when you go back to history, mm-hmm. uh, in years gone by, there are these trade winds that flow from the Indian Ocean, from the, 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 the Indian part of, um, of, the cont- of, 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 of the of the universe, of the world, mm-hmm. towards East Africa. Mm-hmm. Those trade winds facilitated trade between uh, the Indian sub- subcontinent and the eastern coast of Africa, mm-hmm. and then going all the way around to South Africa mm-hmm. and into the Atlantic, into, mm-hmm. the, into the Atl- Atlantic. Mm-hmm. Those same winds uh, these days manifest themselves in terms of exchanges in cultural uh, ideas, technological, um, you know, ideas and the rest of it. Mm-hmm. And if you look at the Indian Ocean today, it accommodates fiber optic cables that have enabled Africa mm-hmm. uh, to jump into the information superhighway. Mm-hmm. So that's the whole idea about Kusi. Wow, it, yeah. it's such a deep, uh, meaningful uh, derivation. Because yeah. I, I, di- I didn't see it coming all the way <laughs> and, and having even, not not, not metaphors, Kusi, like having Kusini, Kusi, you know, Kusini and uh-huh. of course coming through the trade winds yes. and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, thank you so much for the mm. detail of that. How was it conceptualized? How did it come about? Uh, I think it w- it's what you might want to call um, a stroke of genius. Mm-hmm. Uh, two or three guys sat together and just looking around at the kind of events that you know, discuss big ideas about Africa. Mm-hmm. Uh, how can the nation get into that space? Mm-hmm. And uh, when the nation gets into that space, how will it define and distinguish uh, its own festival or its own conference from all the others that take place within Africa mm-hmm. and around Africa, but about Africa? Mm-hmm. I love that there's um, a clear uh, y- idea behind it and there's also a clear goal to wind towards it and you want um, Africans to come together. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're trying to foster cooperation in all these sectors. But what would you say perhaps have been some of those notable ideas sitting in the previous four kusis that you were like, wow, I'm so glad we did this because otherwise I would not have had a clue that people are thinking this big. Mm. Okay, first of all, if, if I go back to the first kusi, yeah. which, um, whose theme was the next 60 years in Africa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It gave us an opportunity and the attendants and speakers and everybody has an opportunity to do what you call scenarios. You know, what would Africa look like in 60 years? Um, looking at where we are right now. Mm-hmm. So you bring in, you b- we brought in all these thought leaders, all these entrepreneurs, uh, think tanks, uh, policy makers, and presidents. Mm-hmm around the table to just look at that and it was amazing just the kind of ideas they were throwing up in the air mm-hmm. you know um again tying in the whole discussion to the aspirations of the african union in terms of its agenda 2063 mm-hmm. which, which will be coming to mm-hmm. into this year and looking at what whether by s- the next six years africa will have redefined itself in spaces like um you know agriculture um in uh, peacemaking in today we worry ab- a lot about um what you call um uh the threat of insurgencies you have mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. coups in west africa you have instability in a lot of other places in africa how will Af- will africa by th- by the time by the next 60 years be able to have overcome all that Mm -hmm. and uh, project itself as a peaceful country where citizens can enjoy their lives without any disturbance and that good governance it's health Mm -hmm. we looked at uh, education we looked at climate change we look at the environment and and the rest of it so it was a whole gamut of issues that we put on the table to ask people to throw their minds into and think very deeply about what Africa might shape up into mm-hmm. in the next 60 years. In the next 60 yeah. years. Yeah. Uh, in the next few minutes,